I just got Lego 76280 Marvel Spider-Man vs. Sandman early. I also have these other sets early, so go check the reviews out on my channel. And anyway, let's get into it. Now, the build took around an hour. Way. Moving on to the minifigures. First, we have the lizard minifigure with very good face, torso, and leg and toe printing. I very much like this minifigure, and I could be wrong, but I feel like this is the first time we've had a lizard, at least in a while, but I feel like this might be the first time ever that we've had a lizard Lego minifigure, so I really like that. Anyway, next up, we have Electro. He looks very good. He's already been in the set previous to this. That kind of counterparts with this, so I don't know how big of a fan I am. He's a good minifigure overall, but I don't think they should have threw him into the set. They probably should have changed him up a little bit. So I don't know about this one. Anyway, we have Spider-Man, and I really much, I very much like this suit. It's just very detailed, and I like the arms, how the black kind of corresponds with the red as well as the black printing. Anyway, once we move on to the set, we have the Sandman uh, himself, uh, and it's, it's kind of a small set. It's a little boring, but anyway, he has movable arms, movable legs, and a movable head. He has this little stand that you can move. You can basically move him anywhere into the set to make him look more like he's grabbing onto stuff or grabbing minifigures. Anyways, head moves, arms, like I said, his torso moves slightly. Um, yeah. Anyway, we have the front section, which looks very detailed, but surprisingly, the back isn't actually that bad anyway. Usually, they skip out on the back of LEGO sets. I could name, like, the T6 shuttle. They definitely skip down on the back or at least the bottom part of the wing, but it's not too bad back here. You could probably display it like this. I recommend I would keep the Sandman in the front. But yeah, this definitely adds a lot of detail to the recent Spider-Man set that came out last year. Now right here you have the portal for the lizard or whatever character you choose to jump out of. Um, I think it's very good, as well as the Spider-Man web to display Spider-Man web. Now this set is supposed to coincide with this set, uh, with the two figures it did not include. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, you have the Spider-Man web to swing with Spider-Man. And yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Now, this set is probably definitely 8 out of 10. I like the characters for the most part. I feel like... The, you could have probably made this set a lot cheaper if you didn't include the Spider-Man or Electric Guy, but I guess you, then you'd have no one to fight. Here's it on display. Anyway, I hope you guys liked this video. Like, subscribe, and see you guys in the next one.